talking. Thank you. So today's story is number 60 from something you forgot along the way. Busy people have the most time. The art of stealing moments. A student paid a call on a successful man. Sir, he said, I find I am so busy these days that I have no time to study. It's a terrible predicament. Don't be ridiculous, cried his host. Don't you know that the more you have to do, the more, the more studying you can get done. When you have free time, you probably spend it sleeping. You've got to understand that there is no such thing as special time for studying. Real studying gets done during stolen moments of the day between other tasks. Anyone who says he's too busy to study is letting his time go to waste. Here's how to achieve superior results. When other people study, keep pace with them. And when they are resting, keep studying them too. When you're busy, whether you use free moments or waste them is up to you. Time flies like an arrow, goes the saying. And indeed, the days and months go quickly by. Events of yesterday or today are soon two or three months in the past. Half a year or a year goes by in the blink of an eye. Caught up in the daily world of mail, telephone calls and visitors, pressed for time, we let slide what most needs to be done. The end of life comes quickly, and the all-important question of what happens after death looms large. Let not one moment go to waste. Okay, very good. So... <clears throat> Uh, as you know, uh, our ultimate uh, purpose in Buddhism is to experience the enlightenment of a Buddha after we die, which is called Nirvana. Uh, we cannot reach uh, Buddha's level in this lifetime, but we can reach uh, true happiness, which is called also the level of true settlement. It's what settles um, birth in the birth as a Buddha uh, in the afterlife. So that being our ultimate goal in Buddhism, um, the more clear we become of our purpose, the more we can treasure every day, every hour, every minute we have working towards that purpose. Yeah, like we always learn in the Purpose and Meaning Lab, that's the energy. You know, have you noticed some people are very energetic in life and they're driven. They're very purpose-driven and goal-oriented. Um, they get the most out of their time. Um, yeah, of course, if the direction is not good, so it doesn't matter how energetic we are. Like, you know, if, if some people are planning har to harm others, obviously that's not good. But, you know, considering all the suffering we see in the world, what can we do to reduce that suffering, uh, at least in our own family, in our own neighborhood, in our communities? So with that goal in mind, uh, every hour is so precious. But of course, if we have a lot of sufferings ourselves, we cannot think about others. So naturally, uh, we find even 30 minutes here, 20 minutes there, five minutes there, constantly exposing ourselves to the Dharma. So we have the wisdom to know uh, what it means to be liberated from suffering. So that's how we do the real studying. It says gets done during stolen moments of the day. Um, uh, yeah, actually when I went to Japan, <laughs> Uh, it was kind of, you know, survival mode. And at the beginning, every time I sat on the train, you know, going somewhere, I would be like, okay, now I can catch my breath. So I would just relax and let my thoughts wander. But then after a while, I noticed all, almost all the Japanese people on the train, they were reading a book or doing something very positive. 
And then I realized, wow, if I let my thoughts just wander around and many times not very good thoughts come, something bitter, bitter or resentment about the past. So in this way, if we use those moments, uh, we can direct our thoughts and um, our thoughts toward our long cherished goal of happiness. So good job, everyone, for being here in spite of your busy schedule, dedicating this 30 minutes for our mental health and spiritual growth. Thank you for all your hearts. And today is Thursday. We have advanced group session by Morita Sensei at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Okay, bye-bye.